sounds good. Good luck, my brother. Don't forget to set life. Don't forget to set life. All right, I'm going to start with... Let me see. I'm going to start with this girl right here and end my turn. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to flip. Oh, I just flipped one of my cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this Kozuki for one. And then I'm going to activate this girl and go into three. And then for the three, I'm going to play this girl right here. And then I end my turn and it just, she just dies. Okay. That's the best I can do right now. Then next turn, maybe we could play this girl. kind of lucky you didn't get the raid that was you could have pushed that off early okay i'll start i'll draw i actually get a third action point right yes okay so the only guy that stops is the second player okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm not gonna do any movement this turn instead i'll just start with this kuzuki for three what she does is she makes uh, me draw one and then the next card i play if it's an action point of two it's only action point of one and what I'm going to choose to do is to play this card right here. Forwards. No, wait, wait, wait. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, I can, I can. Because we have five energy. So, wait a minute. She, I used it for two. And then for this, uh, instead of using it for two, I'll only use it for one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this ability to discard one card from my hand that has two action points to use its double effect. And the double effect I'm going to use is to restand it and to restand one action point since you don't have anything on board. And then final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to This sucks. This really sucks. You don't have enough stuff for me to do anything. And I can't draw right now. Um, yeah, I'll just play this down. It's okay. I'll just play this down here and then I'll attack you for one. Hello? Hello? Tempest? Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. I decided to meet Oh, okay. Okay, because I'm attacking right now. That's all. Added to him. Alright, I end my turn. A lot of play around the Code Geass deck. A lot. Uh, give me one second, I'll be right back. Sure. There's a lot of play around the Code Geass deck. There's so much action point manipulation. So much actual like stuff happening in the Code Geass deck. It's actually impressive. I don't know where he went. The Order of the Black Knights. Okay, Knights are I'm going to draw a card. Sure. And then I'm going to move. Let's do. Cool 
Okay. Wow. Wow, so he can't get any energy regeneration. So all he gets is three energy from here. Uh, next, I'm gonna play... Oh, he gets five. It's five energy. Could have a Korma. Yeah, I'm gonna raid Korama. So the problem is the Korama you just read is not a Korama, is it? Doesn't it say Minamu? Oh, it's also three as core. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, you flipped them? Okay, I get it. Okay, and then. This Korama is uh, huge. I'm going to play the event card. Don't have underestimate the power of Gigan and using it to increase the power of Kurama by 1000 and. Wow. I point. Wow, okay. Yeah, you do. Then I'm going to play because I play an action point, I can go hard. Okay. I mean, because I play an event, not an action point. Then I'm gonna play another EA and you have to do the same thing. Nice. I'll take the first one. Add this card to your hand or raid it if you have required energy. I'm actually gonna. I can't raid it. Okay. Okay. And then I want to double attack with Kurama. Okay, that's fine. I'll take another one. Add it to hand. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to end my set. Okay. Let's let's see what we can do here. Let's see if I can do any work. Um. Okay, I actually might be able to do something to you. Okay, what I'm going to do is zero movement for this turn. Instead, what I'll start with is... So... I'm not understanding. So it's raid ability cannot activate, but it's on play ability can activate? No, no ability can activate for raid unit. That's not raid. Really? That's fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to do one movement, which is this girl. No, wait. Ugh. No, I'm not going to do any movement. I'll just start with zero here for zero. Then I'll raid him. Can I do that? Um, what did you just raid? I'm sorry. I I'll play the zero and then I raid it. Can I do that? Uh, yeah, you can raid from the public. All right. Cost so it's just one point. And then 1,000 minus to everything on board. So you lose this guy and minus 1,000 to everything. Okay. So that means these two cannot block this guy at least. Or any of the two actually. No, no okay, yeah. And then one last card I'm going to play is the Gurin. I'm going to raid her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this card forwards and then raid. And what she does is when she's played, choose one of the opponent's front line with BP 3000, retire it, and then I get impact one. So this is retired because he's at 3000. Right? Yeah. And then I get impact plus one. So now I enter attack step. So I'm going to go... Uh, you can't really block anything on board, really, because you have impact. So I'll I'll go do this first. Four thousand. Okay, then I'll do this for impact one. You can block it, but it's impact one. So of course I'm not gonna block it. 
Okay, and then finally, no blockable. And it's your turn, sir. Dude, the Code Geass deck is fucking crazy. What the fuck? The deck is insane. The Code Geass deck is crazy. Okay. And finally, we're going to play Kurabara. His effect lets me draw a card. Okay. It has to be two or less cards in hand, though. You have to have two or less cards. Oh, yeah, you did, you did. Then you drew a third one. Okay, sorry. Did you kill your um, impact card? Why kill her? So you drag him on the dark and slam on her. Choose one of your opponent's characters and then do what? What does it say? With BP3000 or uh, BP3000 or retire if, if there's a field. Oh, okay, so I have to kill it? Okay, my bad. I didn't know you killed it, my bad. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make the time. Alright, sounds good. I'll restand and draw. Um, let me think about it. I might actually activate the ability. If I can get rid of one of your guys, and you can't block, oh yeah, you can block, you can block a lot. You can block with everything. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw an extra card with the action points. Okay, so to start, what we're going to do is we're going to... Damn it, I'm not really sure what to do here. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to play this Zero Lelouch for two. And his ability activates. Uh, I'm gonna discard. I'm only gonna use his ability once, and it's going to be to set me active. Okay. So I'm not gonna discard another card. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Anyways, you can't block him with anything below forty-five. Cannot be blocked by characters with BP 4500 or higher. Oh, never mind. So anything higher. Okay. So, so you could block with something lower. You just can't block with something higher. My bad. I mis misunderstood that. Okay. So let's attack with the first one. You can only block with 2000 or more. All right. Then I'll do... You can only block with 4500. You can, you can block with anything, really. You can raid uh, it. Yeah, I think. I'm gonna add this to my game. And then finally, this one. And I'm going to block that attack. Okay, sounds good. I will end my turn there. Okay, one card left. One card left. If we can kill one, one of his cards, we win the game. Which is gonna happen next turn. As long as I don't lose anything on board, I win the game next turn. Uh, Honestly, even if I lose something on board, I, I still win the game. Uh, he, uh, sure. You don't get the first ability yet, but if you do activate an event card, you will get the ability. The impact. 
So the impact, you need oh, to use yeah. an event card, but uh, any time, you know, even if you play after you play him. Correct. Yeah, because it's generally my turn. Uh, but I'm activating his on playability and able to activate a Dragon of Darkness flame uh, from, by playing one action point. Wow. Um, let's find it. What does it do? It kills one of my guys? Yes. Fuck. Okay, yeah. Well, which one you want to kill? This guy? This one. Oh, okay. And then I'll insert the attack phase and attack with no impact. Um, man, I can't block really. 4K? No, I'm not gonna block. And Activate one card and give it plus 3K. So this guy. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even see it had a trigger effect. Okay, I'm going to attack with Robo 4000. Okay, I'll block. I'm gonna attack with Coin though. Block. And then I'll pass track. Alright, fresh start. So all I have to do is. Kill one of your guys. Let me see. Actually, I need to do a lot more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I move this forwards for my movement step. Then what I'm going to do is uh, play one. Uh, yeah, play one Kazuki here for one action step. And then play a raid on her. To pop her forwards for one. The raid activates minus 3k to this guy. Killing it. And then I think I can land at least one attack, right? I think that's game. Because I think that's it. You have three blockers, so yeah. My final thing, I'll just play this Lelouch here, and then I'll go into attack step. Let's do the attacks. 1,500? Um, we're going to block it. Okay, 4,000? Four, 4, and then we're going to... Oh, wait. Doesn't it have impact? It does have impact. Yep. Uh, I'm going to block that. All right, 4,000? Um, then I'm going to... Rock that. Yeah, and then just that's it. Yeah, the second I was able to remove one card from your board, yeah, that's that was game. Oh yeah, those final bro. I I I have a YouTube channel. I was I was shortcasting a game. It was a demo deck. Two final triggers. So the guy trigger the final trigger uh, survives. The next turn he attacks him, triggers the final trigger. Uh, but he couldn't survive because there was one more attack. Like it was the opponent and the other guy both triggered final trigger. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, it's unbelievable. But anyways, man, great games. Thank you so much. Uh, this code Geass is a tournament winning deck, so it's it's very like strong. You know, it's like it's so strong. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. No, your deck. Your deck is a lot of fun. It just uses up a lot of resources very very quickly. Yeah. Yeah, what I did was I went to X Burst and I kind of just stole one of their decks, like that just topped the tournament. And I just, I, I can't build decks. I don't know what the sets even look like. You know what I mean? I don't even know what the first set looks like. Uh, I particularly like building decks. The which one? I said I particularly like building decks. Yeah, yeah. Man, my favorite deck building game. I don't know if you've ever played it. It was Chaotic. Fucking insane. You get to choose battle gear, attack cards, music. It was so much fun. So much deck building in it. And I think I tried it on uh, some website. It's called Chaotic Recode, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that game is... That's the best deck building game. I think they're going to revive it. It's, apparently, there's news that it comes back uh, September or October. We'll see. I don't know if there's going to be true. Anyways, brother, nice games. I'll see you maybe later. Hit me up.